was a great walk this morning. Did about, oh, a little less than six miles. Hey, today we are not talking travel. We are not talking camera gear or accessories. But if you like that kind of stuff, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button. <laughs> click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. And occasionally check the show notes if there's any, see if there's anything interesting down there in the description. So yes, we had a great walk and now we're back and hungry. And we are going to make Disney grilled cheese sandwiches. They just released this a week or so ago and we're dying to try it. Hey, if we can't go to Disneyland, we'll bring Disneyland to us in a manner of speaking. So what do you need for these Disney grilled cheese sandwiches? Well, obviously you need bread and you're also going to need some sliced provolone or is it provolone? If you're Italian, let me know. And some sliced cheddar and you need a half cup of um, shredded grated cheddar and you need a half cup of cream cheese. You also need a full cup of mayo. You need a um, half teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of, of uh, garlic, and you need two tablespoons of heavy cream. That goes into this whole thing. Wow. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this uh, cream cheese spread. So we're going to take that half cup of cream cheese and we're going to take mm, 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 the half cup of shredded cheddar. This is one of those meals that normally at home I'm very much whole foods plant-based but when we travel, I'm willing to try quite a bit of stuff. Okay, so there's the uh, half cup of shredded. Then we need the heavy cream. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Combine all that. Now you could probably do this a lot easier in a blender. And I'm not going to take the time to show you how to do this. All you're going to do is mix it all together. Okay, we'll set that aside. Then we also have a garlic spread, which is that cup of mayonnaise, the garlic and some more salt. We're going to put that all together. And the salt and the garlic. And blend that all up. Okay, everything's blended together. Let's assemble these guys. Some bread, a couple of slices of cheddar, then take the cream cheese mixture and put that between the cheddar and the provolone. Thought I'd give it equal time to say it that way. And bread on top and then we'll put the mayo dressing on top. Now they say to use a, a to fry it. I'm going to live dangerously. Put it on the griddler. One of my favorite cooking tools. We'll take our mayo mix, put that on the top here. Ooh, looks like I put too much on there. Slap these guys on here. Now do the other side as well.
Mm, mm, mm. Smelling good already. Oh, that looks scrumptious. So let's take those guys off it there. Don't know how long it's supposed to go. on the top. That looks awesome. Look at that ooey gooey goodness. Oh my goodness. Did you hear that? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. oh ma'am. Mm. I hope all that chewing and just didn't come through too much on, on the mic. Oh, don't choke, honey. Man, that is so, so delicious. All of that mixture of different cheeses. Ah, the flavor. And, and then with the garlic. Oh, man. You have to try this. Disney grilled cheese. Our lunch the day before mom's day <laughs> this is not the way we normally eat <laughs> you're welcome hey if you like this kind of stuff even though it isn't travel and it isn't cameras click that subscribe button click the bell icon so you'll be notified leave us a thumbs up leave a comment down below we love comments thanks so much we'll see you in the next one oh so so tasty